Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is me, Fatima from Mofa Crochet. So today in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do this lovely headband. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use a super chunky weight yarn. I'm using for here a light super lana maxi. As you can see here, it uses size seven to eight millimeters hook. Um, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the lit the red color from the same company. As for the hook, I'm using size six and a half millimeters hook. As you can see here, a yarning needle with a big hole and pair of scissors so that's it let's get started to begin with we will start with a slip knot as you can see here and we will do chain four one two three and four now we will start doing our first row we will start from the second chain from the hook we will do a single crochet one and here's the second one two and three you will end up with three single crochets that's it one two three you want to chain one and turn your work for the second round you will do again three single crochets one here is the second one and third i'm sorry and that's it for round number two you're gonna chain one and turn your work as for round number three, you will start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch here. Here's the second one. And then we will do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then the other increase, we will do two single crochet in the third stitch. Here's the third, second one then that's it you'll chain one and turn your work you have to make sure that you two ended up with five single crochet one two three four and five so for round number four we we're gonna start by doing two single crochets in the first two stitches here's one another single crochet in the next stitch now you want to do chain one and skip the stitch chain one and skip the next stitch and do another two single crochets in the next two stitches and that's it for round number four chain one and turn your work for row number five you are gonna do single crochet all the way across and we will do single crochet in chain one space so i'm doing my single crochets in each sing in each stitch here and one single crochet here in the chain one space and another two single crochet make sure you end up with five single crochet in the end as for row number six we will do triple crochet in the unworked stitch below the chain one space the stitch that we have skipped earlier so we will do one triple crochet in the stitch that skipped earlier yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through that's our a triple crochet then single crochet in the next stitch now we will do chain one and we will skip a stitch here and we will do single crochet in the next stitch here now we will do again triple crochet in the same space that we made the triple crochet earlier here 
and we will do the last single crochet in the last stitch as for round number seven you want to chain one and we're gonna skip the first stitch here and we will start from the second stitch here we will do two single crochet in the next two stitches like this and one single crochet in the chain one space here and again two single crochet one single crochet will be in this stitch and one single crochet will be in the triple crochet made earlier so now we have five single crochet one two three four and five five single crochets as you can see here and that's it for row number seven you're gonna repeat row six and seven until you reach your desired length make sure to leave two to three inches less than your desired length i'm gonna repeat row six and seven to you so it will be much clearer for you so you're gonna do triple crochet in the chain one that you skipped earlier below the chain one space here that's it yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through now you're gonna do a slip a, a, a single a single crochet into the next stitch here and you will chain one skip one stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and you will do another triple crochet in the same space that we made the triple crochet here as you can see yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through now you will do a single crochet in the last stitch here that's it for row six now for seven again you're gonna chain one and we will skip the first stitch here and we will start doing single crochet from the second stitch we will do the first two single crochet and we will do another single crochet in the chain one space here and we will do another single crochet here and in the last triple crochet we will do our last single crochet all right at the end of this round you have to make sure that you ended up with five single crochets so here are five single crochets and yeah finish doing your desired length and we will meet at the end of the band as you can see we have done doing the band here you can see the texture is so nice now uh, after doing this we will do the other end of the band we will do the decrease all right i started with chain one and we will skip one stitch okay so we will do two single crochet in the next two stitches pull up a loop don't do anything and pull up a loop in the next stitch don't do anything and we will pull up the three loops together in the chain one space we will do one single crochet and we will do another two single crochet together in the last two stitches by pulling a loop in the next stitch and pulling a loop on the next stitch and pulling a loop on the all of the loops and we will end up by doing chain one and turn our work for the next row we will do single crochet in the next three stitches that we made earlier and this is our last three stitch and we will chain one and turn our work now we will do again single crochet in the next three stitches that's it we have finished now and we will fasten off by doing chain one and pull the loop 
and we will cut a yarn we will leave along a piece of yarn so we can sew the ends in at the end and yes make sure it's tight and that's it we have done now what's remaining for us is we we will attach the two ends together using this uh, big eye tapestry needle or yarning needle with a big hole so you can uh, it can accommodate with our chunky super chunky yarn i'm gonna insert the yarn inside the the the, the yarning needle and yeah i'm just gonna sew the two ends together like normal sewing there's nothing special about it just like this i'm gonna leave it to you until you finish it and we will meet at the end of this video And yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed doing this lovely, super chunky headband. And yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!